Now with a look at all the stories making the headlines this Saturday, here's the ITV News. Good afternoon, I'm Sally Bidolf. The government is bringing in the armed forces to help ease pressure at the pumps, despite saying supplies were beginning to stabilise. From Monday, 200 military personnel will be driving fuel tankers to petrol stations. Other previously dismissed measures are also being introduced, including fast-tracking some visas for foreign drivers and extending others to the end of February. Antoine Allen reports. The government says the petrol crisis is easing, but even their families can't escape the queues at the pumps. My wife has a car for, for herself and the kids, and she filled it up, I think, about three days ago. And how long did uh, it take? Um, I, actually, I, she did have to wait. I'm not quite sure how long, but it, was, uh, it did take a lot longer than normal. Visas and troops are the government's latest solution to the crisis. From Monday, the army will be deployed on a temporary basis to help deliver fuel across the country. The new visas for drivers, they're relaxing some of the rules for the drivers themselves. Uh, the, the work that's been done with the fuel companies themselves around relaxing uh, competition rules. And now also uh, the precaution of having the army ready to help uh, from Monday onwards. And I think this should be reassuring uh, to everyone. Labour says the government have waited too long to act. Listen, we want to know that you've got a plan because we are not convinced at all that we are ready for the scale of the challenge ahead. And what we hear from the industry is just for food deliveries at Christmas, they need 15,000 extra drivers. And what's the government's response? To give 300 visas. I mean, it's just not good enough. Ministers stress the demand for fuel is stabilising and more is being delivered than is being sold. But over a quarter of forecourts have been reported as dry. Antoine Allen, ITV News. In other news, the Home Secretary has said police must take allegations of harassment and indecent exposure more seriously. Priti Patel has said police need to raise the bar as forces are scrutinised for the way they deal with violence against women following the murder of Sarah Everard. The Queen has spoken about Prince Philip publicly for the first time since he died. Opening the Scottish Parliament in Edinburgh, Her Majesty talked about the many happy memories she'd shared with him in Scotland. And Daniel Craig is getting a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. It'll be placed at 7007 Hollywood Boulevard as to a nod to Bond's code name, and will be next to the star of fellow James Bond actor Sir Roger Moore. Well, that's all from us for the moment. We'll have much more in our next bulletin at 6. Until then, have a very good afternoon. Bye-bye.